Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 2004. It's me Cooper and I've made a brand new deck for the day and we're going to be going up against... A brand new character. It's time for Shoddy, Balance on the Edge. Another tier 5 character just like Ashizu, Merrick, Setokaiba. It's time to take on number 23. Let's see if we can beat Shoddy. By beating Kaiba 10 times, Bakura 10 times, uh, Shizu probably the goals, I don't know. I, I Beat everyone 10 times and you'll be fine, except the first people, except Bakura. Make sure you beat Bakura, maybe Grandpa, do something. Alright, he's going to start with Water Automatic. So my new deck is definitely going to be a little stranger than you guys are used to. I'm going to go ahead and activate Graceful Charity so we can actually get a better look at it. Um, we are going to throw away... I would say... Because I have Revival cards, I'm going to throw away my Firewing Pegasus. And because of my hand currently, I am willing to throw away Fushi Notori. Next, we are going to open up the duel by summoning UFO Turtle and seeing if they have a trap. Because we don't know our opponent yet. They do run basic trap holes, so that's actually going to be a problem for us. I have Call of the Haunted, which I could use with Jinzo, but I'm not going to. It's fine. We're going to get my Firewing Pegasus because it's actually going to be stronger than Jinzo if I'm lucky. If I do feel like I'm in trouble, then I could always... Oh my god, he's got Curse of Dragon! That's one of the strongest cards in the game. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and activate Curse of Dragon. We're gonna go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted. We're gonna bring back the Firewing Pegasus. <coughs> Sorry, I had to see sneeze. See, look at that. No trap cards at all, and you guys were worried. Now I'm gonna draw... Oh, crap, not what I wanted. Okay, well, Robotic Knight should be fine. Um, you know, I could have just played it safe by throwing away Jinzo. Because now I realize he still has two traps. Never mind. Alright, I misplayed, but whatever. I thought I would be safer. I don't know what my opponent is. It's better to go with the safer plays. Next time I'll just throw away Jinzo. And honestly, I forgot I called him in the first place. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and do this and let's go attack Curse of Dragon. Yeah, I'll still revive my Firewing Pegasus, don't you worry. And it prevented Curse of Dragon from attacking us. Luckily for us, Curse of Dragon is not the best tribute monster. It's a, it's an okay one. 2k attack is fine. Uh, monster aboard on my Firewing, but I'm still stronger, so don't you dare. And Swords, that that is you daring. You dare Swords me. You better hope I draw Harpies right now, I swear to God. Char change of Heart's great, but it's not what we need. Um, assuming that whatever I do is going to result in death, I need to get Graceful Charity back, so let's get Magician of Faith on the field. Uh, very unlucky for me right now. Very unlucky that he drew swords. He has a lot of back row, so I'm going to assume that Shoddy is a back row character. He uses mostly back row, which is why his front row is not the best. We're going to draw Cyber Jar, which I do not wish to use because I have full control right now. We're going to go ahead and flip Magician of Faith early because I truly believe I'll get Heavy Storm or something if I uh, just believe enough and you know the ability to believe is one of the strongest abilities in the game so let's just go ahead and activate Grace of Charity. You know it's not exactly what we needed but it will turn into what we need so it's fine. Uh, what did we draw? We drew some stuff. Okay I'm gonna get rid of Fire Kraken and Fire Princess. Next, I'm going to activate good old Pot of Greed in hopes that I get what I want. Okay, I'm getting all the best <clears throat> aggressive cards, but nothing that great overall, so that kind of sucks. Oh, um, right now we're just going to set UFO Turtle and end our turn. I can't believe I didn't draw any Spell Trap card destruction. Would have been nice to see it. Let's see if he can get one of his tribute monsters, maybe a double tribute. That'd be kind of cool. Chain, yep, that's a burn card. That is a big burn card. Okay. I'm going to need to win this duel super quickly in order for that burn card to not matter. For some reason, he's still not willing to attack Magician of Faith in attack mode, which kind of annoys me, because I don't want her on the field. She's taking up space. She's taking up space right now. What if I put her in defense mode? Will that, will that make her more attractive to you? You, you want to kill her now? Look at that. She's in defense mode, all defenseless. Okay, Swords is gone. Next turn, I go in. Let's see if he plays a card for 500. He does. Alright, the card he plays for 500, sadly, is a monster, not something we wanted to see. Uh, TT would be nice, honestly. I'm kind of tired of this field. Chain Energy is going to cost me a lot, because I'm going to be using a lot of cards right now. Uh, we are going to actively Snatch Steal my monster back, <clears throat> because my monster is worth it. Um, I'm afraid of flip effects, because we have no information on Shoddy, so what we're going to do is we're going to change a heart, and hope that we hit the card that we think is important. So, with Change of Heart, we're going to hit this one. And Needleworm is funny, at least, so yeah, why the hell not? Maybe he's a deck-out deck as well, that's something. 
Uh, we're gonna go all in in hopes that that card is not like a cyber jar or something and just, you know, hope that everything's gonna be alright. And we're gonna go ahead and go into battle phase. So let's assume the monster is not good. Like, not a good monster. Oh my god, it was one, but it was in defense, so it wasn't that great. Okay, worked out for me. Uh, I would have loved to have that Vorse Raider change a hearted instead. I could have won the duel, but it's fine. We'll win the duel next turn. Everything will be war uh, everything will be fine. All right, I got my Firewing Pegasus. Go ahead and get him. Twenty-two fifty attack is quite, quite, quite good. It's no Summon Skull, mind you, but if I want to run a fire deck, this is the kind of stuff we have to work with. And we're just gonna go ahead and end our turn. Let's see what happens. Needleworm will return, so if he gets a Summon Skull, I'll be a little scared because I can't activate Mirror Force due to my own Jinzo. <clears throat> he's willing to pay 500. Luckily for him, I'm, I'm healing him, so... Oh, he's trying to burn me to death. I, I respect that it's a burn deck. I respect that a character uses a legit burn deck that is interesting. The problem is I have Darkfire Soldier number one, which is one of the better beater monsters from back in the day for Pyro slash Fire Monsters. And next, I'm going to go ahead and attack with Jinzo, because I already won the duel. Yeah, I'm going to take 500 damage, but I already won. <clears throat> so yeah, this guy, I guess if he starts with Chain Energy early enough and gets some stall cards, I could be in trouble. But overall, I feel like I'll be able to take him on. Plus, I started with Jinzo, so I guess that was, yeah, that was a pretty safe start. <laughs> I don't know what his back row could have been, so let's see. What pack do I want to open? I don't even know. It's been a long time since I've been able to record this game, so let's go over here. Bottomless, baby! Perfectly ultimate great mod. Now I just need but, uh, Petite Maw, which I might already have. Dark Dust Spirit's actually really good, though. I just don't want to use it. And Bottomless Trap Hole is really good. Honestly, that card's god tier. I'm glad I, go I'm glad I drew that card. Am I going to put it in my current deck? No. No. For anyone trying to understand me, I'm not doing that. Alright, looks like Shoddy gets to go first, which is very unlucky seeing as he runs Chain Energy. Alright, looks like he doesn't have it yet, though. But three back row. Yeah, I'm going to be dealing with a lot of back row. Oh, uh, luckily I drew Harpy's Feather Duster. I do not know if he has Magic Jammer, so we're going to play this first. <clears throat> just to see if he does. Do I have Call the Haunt in my hand? I do. Alright. Well, this time I won't make the same mistake twice. We'll just throw Jinzo away and we'll throw... I don't like Fushi no Tori that much. It's just in the deck because it happens to be fire. And I do love me some things. So let's go ahead and destroy his back row. I am kind of curious. Is Black Pen? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, I still take Sunburn, but I stopped him from using Trap Hole and Negate Attack. Some stall cards. Which would chain energy would actually be pretty good. So, yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. Not the most happy with my current hand, but it'll, <clears throat> it'll, it'll come together later. Let's assume he has Needleworm or something like that, and let's just attack him. Yeah, I want to show off my fire deck today, so let's just do some damage. Yep, I was correct. The only card I saw last du duel, and it's the one I—it's the one we see now. So, did we lose anything of value? Uh, we lost United We Stand and Heavy Storm and Lady of Salem of the Flames and Magician of Faith. Yes, we lost a lot of value, but that's okay. At the end of the day, we hurt our opponent, and I'm okay with that. They have no field; we have field. They have uh, water automatics, which would be stupid to attack me with, and I'm gonna assume they won't attack me. Yeah, they just baited it to look like they would. Uh, on end phase. Oh, I guess I can't do it on end phase. Oh, little chimera. Okay, that's pretty good. We're going to activate Call of the Haunted. Call of the Haunted is going to bring back the legendary... Uh, I guess Jinzo is my best card. Now that there's no traps, I would have taken Firewing Pegasus since I have little chimera in my hand. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Call of the Haunted no longer is a downside for Jinzo. Uh, do we want to use it now? You know what? The monsters... Well, no. I want to use Robotic Knight because I plan on using UFO Turtle aggressively. Yeah, because there's got to be another fire monster in my deck somewhere. Sadly, I lost my Lady Assailant of the Flames, which is my 15 beater, which also works as a burn monster in an emergency. So let's try to special summon. Let's see what we get. Uh, fire Princess isn't bad. Not like I'm going to heal, but... Yeah, I don't run her because I have heal cards. I just run her because she's her. Fire Princess is pretty good. Let's just have Jinzo go in. And next turn, good old <clears throat> next turn, good old Shoddy will bite the dust. This guy doesn't stand a chance. I feel pretty confident, guys. I feel pretty confident. I don't know what he plans to do. I just know that he loses. I shall end my turn right there, and I will wait to see what they plan to do against us. Alright. You can set, yes, but can you end me? 
I have Dark Hole. If I had a 2700 attack point monster, I'd go for it, but I don't. I summon Little Chimera, making all of my monsters super busted. Um, now I'm going to use Robotic Knight's 2100 attack stat to destroy your face down. Cyrus Soldier of Dark... Wow, your cards do... Su You're just a burn deck. Other than Vorse Raider, your cards have sucked. Curse of Dragon's fine. I'll give you credit for that one. I like that card, but... Overall, not so good, kid. Not so good. Shoddy, you need some help. It's alright. You just need a little bit of help, and that's going to be just fine. We'll get you some. Uh, let's see. What pack do I want this time? Um, let's go with the third pack. I don't know. I'm just going to open all of them. Uh, Curse of the Mass Beast. Holy crap, I got a really good ritual spell. Okay, Insect Invitation's good. Aqua Spirit's good. Yomi Ship is good. Dark Spirit and Silence, whatever. That's a Bacora card. Alright, let's just continue on. We gotta get our 10 wins on Shoddy. We're trying to unlock all the characters after all, and even though it's a very, very difficult task, I know we can accomplish it, because we are awesome. Uh, let's just start Cyber Jar. I'm not a coward. And you know what? Let's start. I don't. No one else is using Field Spells. That's like a Tier 2 thing, so... I'm gonna play Molten Destruction. I'm gonna end my turn. I don't know why only Tier 2 characters use Field Spells. Field Spells are busted. In my opinion. Okay, he started Vorse Raider, which is why I'm glad I Cyber Jar, because I'm going to assume he does not have many good pom uh, good cards, just burn and stuff. Alright, Cyber Jar, let's see what he works with. He's got Black Pendant, Scary. He's got Curse of Dragon, okay. Black Pendant, Scary. He's got Swords, goddammit, and he's got Trap Hole. I got Imperial Order, which is, thank God, Firewing Pegasus for later, Nobleman. I finally. Oh my god, I drug all my tributes! No! No, I drew all my tribute monsters. That's not how this was supposed to go. Holy shit. How did we both mess this up? Oh, are you not allowed to be special summoned? Is that a rule? This card cannot be special summoned. Of course it is. All right. Well, that sucks. That super sucks. I don't know how that worked. I don't even have any fire monsters in the grave. That is embarrassing. How did I draw my... I only own two tribute monsters for fire monsters. Three tributes in total with Jinzo. And I drew two of them. Okay. Well, shit. I'm going to go ahead and go with Robotic Knight. Trap hole me. Thank you. Yeah, we planned for that. Now we're going to go ahead and special summon Spirit of the Flames, one of my best cards. Oh, you're going to get it now. You don't even know. You're going to get it now. Uh, Fushi no Tori, Nobleman. Everything's fine. Let's just assume that he has basic traps. Nothing that can actually stop me. I have 25 on my battle phase. Oh my god, it's such a good card. Oh, Spirit of the Flames is such a good card. On their battle phase, I have 22. On my battle phase, I have 25. I mean, it's a winner. Oh, uh, let's throw away Firewing Pegasus. That's fine. It's all good. So, what are you going to do against me now, Shaddy? Slate Warrior doesn't work. I'm super powerful. Also, I run Imperial Order, which would actually make me not powerful. That's what I thought. As long as I don't activate Imperial Order, I'm fine. Magician of Faith is nice. Do I have a Harpies or anything? No. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and summon... Yeah, let's go with Robotic Knight. All right, Robotic Knight is here. Robotic Knight gets... Ah, lots of trap holes. I didn't realize. All right, well, you got lots of trap holes. But that's fine. You can't stop my Spirit of the Flames. It's such a powerful card. Now, I understand Slate Warrior is another one of his best cards because uh, that card is just straight up busted for a level 4 monster from back in the day. Literally, it's one of the best cards you're ever going to find. For some reason, it has two positive effects, and uh, it has 19 under attack, 400 defense. In a time period where Rare Metal Dragon exists, and a time period where all this bullcrap exists, I'm down to 1700 attack. I don't like that. Uh, card destruction, honestly, I can use a new hand. Yeah, go ahead. I know you probably could too, but you threw away two black pendants, so I'm chilling. Uh, no, no. He threw away swords as well, so I like it. Goblins? That's, you know, that's fine. What is he going to do? Goblins me and then I just summon more monsters next turn while it's in defense mode? I'm not worried about that. No, no, no. Come on and hit me. Go ahead. 600 damage. Do your best. Now, there is a lot of back row back there, so I would like to get me a Jinzo. That would probably be nice. Or a Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm has the same value. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a Heavy Storm. Nope. I know I'm probably going to get hit a Black Pendant at least, so... I'll take like a thousand burn to do that. That's fine. Yeah, don't pretend like I don't see it coming. I see it coming. Next, I am going to... The life points are a little too high for me to go all in for game. If goblins could be in attack mode, I could win, but I can't. So we'll go with Witch. Witch of the Black Forest, you're just going to get in there. Hopefully he'll play like a Vorse Raider next turn with his brand new hand. And then we'll take advantage of said Vorse Raider and uh, win the duel. 
Now, obviously, he probably has a bunch of new traps and stuff, but that's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Alright, let's see what he ends up doing. Just one new trap. And there are goblins. Goblins does not help me. Uh, I don't normally TT aggressively like this when I still have advantage against goblins after the fact, but... Yeah, that does not help me. Jinzo, a little too late. Spirit Dragon, kind of helpful. Little Chimera, kind of helpful. Morphing Jar helps him more than me. Uh, Fire Princess, no. You know what, let's just go Spear Dragon. It may not be a fire monster, but I already lost both my Molten Destructions, so... Only Lil Chimera is going to be buffing them now. The UFO Turtles are a hell of a draw. That was the other card I was planning on picking, so the fact that we just drew it is great. Uh, let's start out with Fire Kraken, assuming that they have a third trap hole of some sort. Or maybe a Mirror Force. Just because, I don't know, just seems like this is the kind of guy that do that. No, his back row seems to be pretty ass, all things considered. Who are you, Shoddy? I know you very well from the show, but what the hell are you doing in this game? Like, I don't remember you dueling in the show, really, so... Yeah. What you doing here? I got two UFO Turtles, not what I planned to do, but... You know, Change of Heart's in a card that exists, so we could try to win the duel. And Change of Heart gives me Lord of the Lamp. Of course, a 1400 freaking fiend monster. Should be a spellcaster in my opinion, but hey. What the hell do I know? Uh, you know, we can just go Spear Dragon, try to end the duel. Let's see if they do anything about it. Alright, I enter battle phase, and we're going to attack with Lord of the Lamp first. See if that new trap card is anything. Ah, I just think it's attack. Okay. Well, we still change a heart of the monster just in case it was an opponent's, uh, what you call it. It's, uh, you know, a flip effect monster. Don't want the Magician of Faith in or anything like that. Especially with all the cards we have in the grave. Oh, look at that. You can now tie with my monster. And I guess you could beat the other one, but Firecracking doesn't care. That's the first time you've ever used Black Pendant. I don't know why the AI has to set it first. It's kind of stupid, but, you know, bad programming. Uh, Dark Hole, I could do that, or I could just crash. I mean, or I could just win. Yeah, that's true. Winning would be a good idea. Let's just summon Lady of Sailing of the Flames. I was thinking about using her for burn, but I feel like they're out of good traps. So we're going to set Dark Hole. We're going to activate Mage Power. Uh, we're going to put it on... Spear Dragon, because the way they are programmed doesn't work. Oh, we're going to take 2900 burn. And now I have to Dark Hole later. I could do it now. Uh, now I wish I had you for burn. Okay, well, that's fine. No, we'll do it later. <laughs> Lady of Sailor of the Flames may not be able to beat the opponent, but they already beat themselves, so we're fine. Okay, a trap card does make me, you know, pause for thought. But at the end of the day, I can find a way to do 400 burn if I have to. Let's see what I top deck. You know what? That could do it. I'm not going to do it with that, but it could do it. So let's just go ahead. We'll take 500 burn. We're getting very close to death. I have to give Shoddy some credit. The top decks he's been getting are actually perfect for every situation now. Um, I don't know if that's going to continue, but we're going to find out right now when I attack. I attack for 1400. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And just like that, we get another victory on Shoddy. And just like that, I'll get the gold pack. Let's just get the gold one. Let's see. Pyramid Energy. Great Long Nose. No thank you. Needle Ceiling. No thank you. Swallowtail Spike Lizard? That's... It's not... It's called Granadora. What the f... I was going to say, I've never heard of Swallowtail Spike Lizard, which I guess makes more sense than Granadora, but Granadora is cool. All right. Whatever. Spiritual Energy? Yeah, no, I'm not a spirit guy. Uh, looks like I drew that card. That's kind of weird that they have the name like that. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's uh, see if we can beat Shoddy again. Like I said, once we get 10 wins, we're good. Plus, new character, new deck. Pretty interesting. My fire deck seems to be working just fine. Weird that the tier 5 enemies are kind of weaker than the tier 4 enemies. Alright, Jinzo. Wow, I drew nothing of value. Huh. Not used to drawing nothing of value. How do I keep drawing all my freaking... Stuff. Okay, I'm going to set him in hopes that he dies. I'd rather have him dead than alive. It's a sad thing to say out loud, but it's the truth. Now, hopefully that's just a needle worm or something. He won't even... Yeah, see. He would have flipped it if it was like a Vorse Raider. They know my face downs. But sadly, that means my monster did not die, which means I'm going to go in with the uh, UFO Turtle. Let's see what your trap says. That's fine. I want you to burn yourself. Even though you will burn me faster in the end. And attack... Oh, wow. Okay, well... All of a sudden, you're starting to show off your other burn cards. Now I gotta be impressed a little bit. Uh, no, we can still go. We got Spirit of the Flames. 
All right, Spirit of the Flames is a busted card with 2,500 attack during my battle phase with Molten Destruction on the field. And uh, I love my living Dark Magician right here, my Fire Dark Magician. Uh, let's just destroy Needleworm. We know that that's what it is. We're not, we're not dumb. <laughs> I figured you out already. I've only dueled you like four times, and I figured you out. So come on and come and come and get me. I dare you to punch me, and let's see if you can do any damage while you're at it. Just a set. That's completely fine. Robotic Knight is fine as well. We'll see right here. Uh, Mage Power would be nice. Uh, let's just summon Robotic Knight. Uh, let's summon Fushi Notori, because I'm tired of hiding. And let's go ahead and Mage Power my monster, Spirit of the Flames. We're gonna, we're gonna go all in. I believe my, mo my two monsters can destroy the face downs. I haven't seen a single good defensive monster from my opponent. Even though Fushi Notori could heal me, I'm not looking to do that. That's like for Fire Princess at all. That's it. It's just for like Fire Princess. We're going to do a lot of damage this turn. 3,500 damage. Jesus. Water Automotics didn't stand a chance in this volcano. All right, 3,500 damage go. Yeah, that's not so bad. Not so bad at all. And then we're just going to end our turn. Fushi Notori goes back to the hand because it's a spirit monster. I can live with that. And let's see what you got. Uh-huh. Monster of Born, you think you're so special. Because you... Oh, that was one of the monsters that were Needleworms, but it's still weaker than Spirit of the Flames, which is sad. Um... Yeah, overall, we're just not going to risk the trap card. It's like a negate attack or something. I'll be upset for not doing that. Uh, let's see. How much defense do you have? 18? Not enough. I have 2,000 attack on Spirit of the Flames. Uh, Fushinotori, looks like you're going to actually be going in for game. Yeah, Spirit of the Flames is busted freaking fire monster. Look at this. 2k attack. Beats my tribute monster, in defense mode, mind you. Uh, beats my tribute monster, and then I can win the duel and heal some life points for fun. I'll even do this for real. I'm just doing it for fun. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then Robotic Knight, get in there for 16. Yeah. Well, uh, Shoddy, you're not the worst duelist I've ever dueled. You're definitely not the best, but I can respect you. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this pack. I don't know. I'm just going to open every pack today. Thousand Dragon! Metamorphosis! Oh, God. I like clowns as well, but God damn, that is... Oh, man. Oh, my. Thousand Dragon. Do I even have a Time Wizard? I don't... Yeah, I do. Do I have a bait? I do. Ooh, Cooper's thinking about making another deck later. <laughs> now that he's got a Thousand Dragon, everything's opened up. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Next episode, we're going to take out Shoddy once and for all, unless he beats me. Um, and we'll see you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye